why do plants make a mistake during photosynthesis? In my last video, I explained that oxygen is bad for photosynthesis. Oxygen leads to a lower rate of photosynthesis, and this is because of Rubisco. So let's, here's Rubisco. Rubisco. Rubisco is the protein which takes carbon dioxide and puts it into larger molecules. It's the fixes, we say carbon dioxide. Rubisco reacts with carbon dioxide, but it has a side reaction with oxygen. And this side reaction leads to low rates of photosynthesis. So why does Rubisco have this side reaction? To understand this, we have to go back a long, long way, about two billion years ago, before there was any photosynthesis on the Earth. Then, there were very large amounts of carbon dioxide, about 21% of the atmosphere was carbon dioxide, and almost no oxygen. So, Rubisco, I shall just, an X is carbon dioxide. There was lots and lots of carbon dioxide. Rubisco was happy, and the side reaction with oxygen didn't matter because there wasn't any oxygen. So there was no side reaction. Then what happened? as the first organisms started carrying out photosynthesis. These were bacteria and then algae, and then the plants came onto the land. And you can imagine, as photosynthesis went on, the carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere went down, and the oxygen went up. It was a little bit more complicated than this, and there was also changes due to volcanoes, but they changed a lot. And what we have today is we have a lot of oxygen about 21%, and not very much carbon dioxide, about 0.04%. Now, what does this mean for Rubisco? Here's Rubisco. And now, there is lots of oxygen, and not very much carbon dioxide. What this means is Rubisco has to look very carefully for carbon dioxide. It has to be very careful. I'm not going to go into the detailed biochemistry. I'm just going to explain it in everyday terms. If you are having to do something very carefully, if you are having to pick the right thing to do and avoid a lot of other things which are wrong, like reacting with oxygen, you have to go slower. And that is what has happened. Rubisco has got better. It has actually got better at separate distinguishing between carbon dioxide and oxygen, but it has also got slower. It is now very slow, and this means that Rubisco is a third to a half of the protein in a leaf. It can't go much slower. So what has happened is that the plants haven't planned what was going to happen when they carried out photosynthesis in some way you could say they have created their own problem. They've tried to solve the problem by changing Rubisco, but that can only go so far. It doesn't get rid of the reaction with oxygen. Have plants found any other ways to deal with this problem? To solve this mistake? In my next videos, I will talk about different strategies that algae and plants use to help Rubisco avoid the reaction with oxygen.